Hello friends, this video on some natural phenomena part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So in order to give a better picture or a better idea about the plates or the earth plates, let me give you this simple example. Now have you ever seen this puzzle? So you have each block of puzzle and when you join them all together, you are able to build a picture. So here you see this entire thing is not one piece, even though it looks like one piece, but it is not one piece, right? They are all small fragments like this, which are all joined together to form this structure. Sometimes you will also see sceneries or paintings being done in this way, but they are all different blocks which are being joined together to form this. So in a very similar way here also, you have each of these plates. So these are nothing but plates. And many such plates are joined together to form the outer surface of the crust. So this is what has formed here. So this each of each uh, uh, plate is being uh, denoted in a different color. So here you see this is the Pacific plate, you have the North American plate, you have the Arabian plate, you have the Indian plate, Eurasian plate. So similarly you have so many different plates. So, and each of these plates are in continual motion. That means the plates are not static. The plates are also moving with respect to each other. Now, there are many plates present on earth. Maybe approximately 15 large plates have already been shown in this picture itself, which you see on the screen. So, there are so many plates and the most interesting part is this, that they are moving. Now, you might ask that uh, how are these plates moving and why are they moving? So when the, now the earth itself is not at rest, right? The earth also it's rotating, it is revolving. So what is there which is making the plates to move? Now, as I mentioned before, that if you look at the structure of the earth, so you will see that inside the earth, there is a lot of heat. You saw how high the temperatures were. The temperatures were in five, more than 5,000, 6,000 degrees Celsius. So there is so much of heat inside the earth and this heat is responsible for the movement of the plates. And these plates, while moving, sometimes they collide with each other and these collision of plates result in earthquakes. So that is the main cause behind earthquakes. Now the question is, how are these plates moving? Okay, now since inside the earth you have a lot of heat, this heat develops water current. So it is something like you take a take water in a pan and put it on the stove. So when you switch on the stove, what happens? Heat is applied to the uh, water. So as a result, the water starts evaporating, water currents develop, right? So in a very similar way here also, from inside the earth, a lot of heat comes out and this heat results in the development of water currents and these water currents, they flow towards the surface of the earth and again back down. So it's like the water currents keep on moving from the interior of the earth because the core has the maximum temperature, correct? So from there, the maximum heat comes which results in water currents, water currents goes towards the surface, again the water current comes back and this cycle continues. So the core is like the stove which supplies the heat and the mantle that is the middle layer which is the thickest layer and which is also liquid. So that liquid mantle is nothing but the water that keeps rotating, it is like that. So now with this movement what happens? Now when the water that is moving, that is nothing but the mantle, so basically the mantle is moving. So it is something like this, this is your core, after the core you have your mantle and then you have the crust and in this crust you have plates like this and I, what I am saying is these plates are moving and why they are moving because the core is providing a lot of heat. Due to so much of heat, water current develop and this water keeps on moving in this fashion. It goes upward towards the surface, again it comes back, it goes, comes back. Now there is a lot of water movement involved in this layer that is mantle. Now when mantle has so much of movement, so obviously this movement is going to impact the plates because the plates are located just above mantle. So due to these water movements, the I mean, due to these water currents, the plates tend to move. So the plates are like kind of floating on the liquid mantle. 
So this is your liquid mantle and on the liquid mantle you have the uh, you have the plates which are floating. So when the liquid mantle is uh, undergoing movement, so the plates will also undergo movement. So because of this the plates are moving and when the plates are moving, so there are so many plates, right? So when plates are moving, there are chances that they will collide with each other and whenever they collide with each other, that results in earthquake. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.